Our next speaker is Eugene Meyer, um, who is the president of the Federalist Society. Uh, it's an organization that he helped create. Um, he's led it for 25 years. It's grown from a handful of students in a law school to um, an organization with 42,000 members now. Um, Eugene is a noted voice on the topic of rule of law, um, has taken an uh, interest in how our legal system operates at, at a very in-depth level for 25 years. Um, he's also, I noted, an international chess master, and I'm very pleased to welcome um, Eugene here to the panel. Thank you. Well, th thank, you, thank you, Carl. Th thanks, thanks for what you're doing. Uh, I uh, appreciate that. And uh, I'm going to start with a complete aside, but uh, uh, picking up on a couple of other people's asides and consistent with the Federal Society's in interest in, de in debate, although I, I would want, to, want to say I'm not I'm anything I say here that might be an opinion, since the Federal Society doesn't take po policy position opinions, would be my, would be my own and not the society's. But, the cameras in the courtroom conversation, uh, I, I just, without necessarily saying, where, I don't know what I think about that, but I do, one thing I thought might be worthwhile mentioning is I know a lot of the concern about cameras in the courtroom has been from people who are worried that in the real world, television cameras being on, on people will cause them to slightly adjust what they say before the court. And that, I think, is one of the things that judges have been concerned about. So I just want to mention that as part of the, the sort of the discussion, or I think a lot of viewers could wonder what could be the problem there. And that's one of the problems that could exist. <clears throat> now, to our, to our topic. Um, for the Federal Society, much more broadly than that, for the society at large, civil serious debate and discussion is central to our, central to our democracy. We need more of it. But it becomes easier to have that kind of discussion when we know what it is we're debating or discussing. And I just want to mention two very quick examples which have been in the news a lot. Uh, the Arizona law and health care. Both extremely widely debated. Both very important issues. And in both cases, some of that debate has been over things that were not in the legislation. Now, when a bill has just been written, that's perhaps understandable. But there's no excuse for such a problem after the first few weeks. It's difficult enough to have the type of discourse which is essential to democracy uh, and, and to have the, a vigorous exchange of ideas when we have our facts right. And we know in the real world that people will twist facts to support their arguments on all sides. But there's no reason why in the internet age, the legal materials and the laws that we have should be difficult to access. Certainly there are the type of privacy concerns you mentioned, and there are ways we need to look at addressing that. But one thing that is uh, highly desirable is that we be able to see what the, the, these laws are. I mean, there's an old story from the early days of football. There was a, uh, there was a play in the middle of the line, everybody fell on top of everyone else, as happens in football, and the ball burst. Now, today that might not be a big deal, but at those days, they didn't have another ball. So they're all standing around wondering, what do we do now? And one big burly tackle with a, a, a little bit of blood dripping from his eye and glowing with the joy of the battle said, or rather bellowed, to heck with the ball, let's get on with the game. <laughs> Now, the big tackle's correct if the rules of football are just blocking the other guy. And if the goal of government is just to win politically, there's no reason to be terribly persnickety about exactly what l laws are, either new ones or older ones, which we're discussing and trying to figure out what some kind of fairly obscure s state law or local ordinance or whatever is. But we're trying to form intelligent policy. And the real world of politics creates plenty of problems in doing that. It does seem to me, though, that lack of access to legal materials tends to create a situation where everyone becomes entitled in the wisecrack, becomes entitled to their own set of facts. And that's what one's not entitled to. Practical difficulties will no doubt exist in, in, in implementing this. But I think there is no question that it will be good for everyone, and good for, the, for democracy at its core, 
to have better access to such materials. So I commend you for what you're doing here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eugene.